Welcome. Warm yourself by the fire. <laughs> Oh, hello, my little human. Tell me, how did you sleep? Have you started to get adjusted to the nocturnal lifestyle? Wonderful, wonderful. You've only been here for a few days, but you're already adjusting so well. Tell me. What would you like for breakfast? The chef makes absolutely wonderful oatmeal. Mm, no, not even with honey and brown sugar. It's simple, I know, but very sweet and satisfying. Well, that's all right. There's all sorts of things that you could have. Bacon and eggs, waffles, French toast. Of course, if that's too pedestrian, you could have some croque madame or perhaps quiche lorraine. Oh, we get all the ingredients from the human world. You humans come up with the loveliest dishes. So creative. Oh? I suppose you didn't realize this, since this will be the first time you've been on time for breakfast. I won't be eating. I never do. Just this tea will do for me. No, it's not that monsters don't eat, but we don't eat every single day, like you humans do. We can go as much as a few years between meals, but <laughs> when we do eat, it's very nutrient-rich. Other than that, it's... Mostly just drinks and occasional snacks. <laughs> I don't really want to get too deep into it. At the end of the day, I am a monster, after all. And the things that I find appetizing would probably ruin your appetite. Now, run along and go tell the chef what you want, and... She'll be happy to make whatever you like. Oh, that does look good. I'm not very hungry right now. I only ate a couple of months ago, but... Hmm, sometime soon I might have to give that a try. As a snack. So, how are you enjoying yourself in the palace? Is everything comfortable? <laughs> Very good. I imagined you would appreciate the accommodations. We don't tend to get a lot of complaints. Is there anything you need to make life here better? I have ways to acquire all sorts of things, you know. You need only to say the word and... I'll give you anything that you ask for. Why, it's my absolute pleasure. I'm nothing if not hospitable. I make it a priority to ensure that everyone staying at the palace is totally comfortable. Oh, finished already? Hmm, are you sure? I was under the impression that humans ate more than that for a meal. Well, if you're certain, hmm, but promise me that you'll do your best to eat properly. I don't want you to be underfed. Hmm. Now, the past few days you've 
I've just been getting used to living here, but I think today would be a good day for you to commence your duties as Human Relations Advisor. Are you feeling up to it? Lovely. First things first, we'll need a physical evaluation. Isn't that wonderful? They come so fast at the mere ring of a bell. These are my physicians, and they will be making sure that you are completely healthy. Don't worry, they're very familiar with human anatomy. If you could just remove your clothes for them, that would make it much easier. <laughs> Oh, you silly thing. There's no reason to be shy. You can keep your underclothes on, but this is just like a doctor's visit. They need to get a good look at you so we can know if there are any special considerations that you need. Excellent. There we are. That's not so difficult now, is it? Now, just let them examine you and take some measurements. <laughs> this tickle. Don't worry. It won't take that much longer. See? Nice and simple. May I see the results? Hmm. Interesting. Well then, we definitely need to make sure that you eat better in the future. If you don't mind my saying so, dear, you could stand to gain some muscle as well. Particularly in your legs, that is important after all. Oh no, just looking out for your health. You need to be in tip-top shape. It will make you happier and give you confidence. I am not kidding about looking after you. I take that role very seriously. Now, come with me to the throne room and we'll get you started on your duties. Don't worry, dear. We'll keep things nice and simple for your first day. Though, honestly... It should always be nice and simple, so really there's nothing to be concerned about at all. We wouldn't want you to get stressed now, would we? <laughs> oh, were you not expecting it to be so crowded? I suppose the last time we were here I had ordered it to be cleared so that you wouldn't be overwhelmed. There's normally quite a few monsters here. Well, let's see. Everyone sitting in these seats are part of my royal court. That includes visiting nobles who manage smaller portions of the kingdom. My daughters, who aren't here today, but I'll introduce you to on another day and certain notable individuals that I have given special positions to, just like you. Oh no, you'll be sitting next to me. See, I put a nice, comfy chair next to the throne just for you. Those seats are for observing. Members of the royal court can watch proceedings whenever they wish. Today, almost everyone is here. They wanted to see you in action, sweetie. <laughs> Over there are seats for supplicants. Those are people who have something to ask of me. I address them one at a time and do my best to meet the requests, if they are reasonable. Now, for today, you'll notice that there are no supplicants. I've set aside the day to train you in your duties, which 
some members of my royal court will be assisting me in. For security reasons, I'm not permitting them to speak, but I will be introducing you to each of them. <laughs> first things first, we have the Duchess of Tanglethorn. As you can see, she is a very lovely young monster with scaled skin and many, many arms. She rules the largest tract of land in the kingdom and does a very fine job. Next is the Countess of Misthaven. Don't let her slime fool you. She is a very prestigious woman who upholds peace, order, and cleanliness above all else. Misthaven is a very important harbor for us. And lastly, we have the Baroness of the Warped Plains. Doesn't her fur just look luscious? She owns several wool farms, but from how top quality her products are, <laughs> I dare say she uses her own coat. <laughs> oh, don't make such a sour face, Baroness. You know I'm only joking. What was that, dear? Oh, them. Don't worry about them. They're only taking notes. Oh, you might not think anything noteworthy happened, but I think this has been quite productive. In fact, I will be eagerly reviewing those notes later. What do you mean, what have you done? I would say that meeting several of the most powerful and influential monsters in my kingdom is quite a significant event, wouldn't you say? Oh, speaking isn't everything. You don't need to speak in order to make a connection, don't you think? It's all in the eyes, really. Hmm, questions. Hmm. Well, I could certainly answer a few, but try not to overthink things, darling. I say just let things happen and take them as they come. That's the best way to do things, in my opinion. Oh, that. Yes, I suppose by now you couldn't have failed to notice that all the monsters around here are female. It's somewhat tragic, really. There is a certain quirk in monster biology. You see, unfortunately male monsters don't tend to live as long as the females. It's... it's really a shame. Did you have another question, my dear? Well, I... I already told you the point of this. You're here to make connections. There are people who will be instrumental in your future career. Oh. All right. One more question. Why no, my dear? You cannot go home. Oh, you poor thing. I know, it's confusing. You must feel so frustrated about that. But you have to trust me. This is for the greater good. Well, exactly how is a little complicated to explain. I need you to believe me when I say that I'm trying to do my best here. I do want you to be happy. I know, I know, it's okay. As queen, it is my burden to make difficult decisions. I accept that you are frustrated, but if you could see things the way I see them, you would understand. I know you would. Here, 
Why don't you sit in my, um, my lap? I'm not sure if you can call it that, but... Oh, just get over here, please. Oh, of course. Members of the court, you're excused. Uh, there we are. It's just you and me now. I know that there's a lot happening that you don't understand. You've been brought into a whole new world, and you were given a job you've never heard of before. From your perspective, it must be absolutely baffling. Say, do you mind if I stroke your hair? I think it might help calm you down. Oh. Your hair is so soft. It feels nice to run my tentacles through it. Ah, but about what I was just saying. I don't blame you at all for being upset. I do wish you could handle things with a bit more grace, but that's not something I can demand of you. As the one who brought you here, it falls to me to make sure that you are comfortable. All that being said, I would like it if you could give this a chance. Right now, I'm sure you're probably thinking of all the things and all the people that you'd miss from your old life, but, you know, if you had been born and raised here, and then were taken to the human world, you would probably miss things here, wouldn't you? There are people you can connect with, things you can enjoy, and really, was your old life perfect? I'm sure there were plenty of things that were out of your control. But, well, you now have a queen as a friend. As things stand now, there's very little that's outside of your control. Don't throw away a good opportunity just because it came suddenly. There, there. That's a good human. Everything's going to be just fine. I'm positive that with a little bit of time and patience, you'll come to love the place even more dearly than your old home. We have everything here that you could ever want. Why don't we go for a little walk? There's something I have been wanting to show you. It was going to be a surprise for later, but I think now might be a better time. You know, I'm a mother. I think I mentioned earlier that I have daughters. It's so fulfilling having someone to take care of and watch over. In some ways, you're already like a child to me. You're very precious, and I want you to be able to sense that. You deserve to feel precious to someone does that make sense, my dear? Well, I'm glad that there's something about all this that makes sense to you. In a way, perhaps that's the only thing you really need to understand. That I care about you. All right. Here we are. Are you ready? <laughs> Close your eyes for me, my sweet. Alright. Walk a few steps forward. 
Good. Oh, just a couple steps to the left. I don't want you to trip. Okay. Open them up. See? Isn't this wonderful? I've had all sorts of comforts and luxuries from the human world imported here. All those electronics you humans enjoy so much are here just for you. I'll confess they're a little strange to me. We don't really have the means to produce these ourselves, so they're a rare oddity here, but you can enjoy them as much as you like. <laughs> Good. I had hoped that this would bring you a little happiness. Having some familiar entertainment should go a long way towards making this place feel like home to you. I'll tell you what. I'll leave you here so you can enjoy yourself for now. Perhaps later you could show me some of the things you like. Lovely. Alright. Have fun, sweetie. <laughs>